And joining me now from Capitol Hill, Democratic Congressman Sandy Levin of Michigan, member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Sandy, we'll absolutely get to tax reform, but we do have to ask you first about this. I don't know if you'd call it a kerfuffle or something a lot more important. Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster just giving a media briefing. I know you heard parts of it. He's sticking by the story that the Washington Post is incorrect in its premise. What's your reaction to what may or may not have happened last week? I thought at times the general was evasive. I think it's another example of the president being a loose cannon. And sometimes it isn't clear when he's going to shoot or what he's going to shoot or where he's going to shoot. And sometimes it hits uh, the United States. And I'm afraid in this t case, his shooting at loose cannon was inadvisable from what I understand and may, may have hurt the United States. I thought the general tried to talk straight, but at times when pressed, as I said, he really uh, was evasive. What do Democrats as a group representative intend to do about this, if anything at all can be done? I mean, after all, Democrats do have some experience in, in being, you know, accused of, of leaking classified information. No, I think we need to take this seriously. Regardless of the past, we're here at the present and the president. And I think his conversation with the Russians, uh, we don't know exactly what was said, but they're on the defensive on this because I think the president once again kind of shot from the hip. As I said earlier, a loose cannon, and that uh, isn't the way the president should be acting in any case. Mm -hmm. Do you think the president put our troops in danger? I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't think we can say that. But what we can say is the president simply um, thinks that he can tweet or he can essentially close to, to talk off the top of his head or without really thinking through its consequences. He also changes his story so often, and tax reform is a good example, that it's really hard to know how to evaluate uh, where he's coming from and where he's going. Well, so let's just take the uh, tax reform legislation that's, that's being you know, presented in the House. What needs to change there for there to be bipartisan agreement on some kind of legislation? Do you see it happening this term? Uh, I was in the 86 discussions, not yet as a member of the committee. I joined the next year, but I sat in on a number of the 86 uh, discussions. They were very bipartisan. These today, especially in the House, are not. The Republicans continue to think that uh, tax cuts pay for themselves. Recently, 35 economists, conservative and liberal, said that's not true. They also uh, adopt supply-side economics, help the wealthy, and it will trickle down. And that isn't true either. And so far from what we've seen of their tax proposals, we don't have all the details, it helps the very wealthy much more than it does the middle class. Mm -hmm. Also, they're very divided. Uh, Speaker Ryan said the planets were aligned. Uh, the Republican planets uh, seem to be going in different directions. Uh, McConnell said there has to be rev revenue neutrality, the opposite of uh, the president who um, said he had uh, invented uh, the notion that goes back uh, 50, 60 years to another, to an economist. So I think uh, it's hard to tell. They're very divided over border well, uh, protection, uh, border tax. They're also divided over debt versus equity. A lot of division, that's for sure. Representative, you mentioned the Senate Majority Leader. Let's just have a listen to something he said to our own Kevin Cirilli this morning. It's probably wouldn't pass the Senate. But the way we're trying to go forward is the, the Secretary of the Treasury, the Speaker, and myself are trying to reach an agreement on a proposal that we can all agree to start with. And of course, it will start in the House. Uh, we haven't reached that agreement yet, but we will at some point. This particular segment was about that border adjustment tax that you just mentioned. Do you imagine that it will, it will come into play? Uh, the retail CEOs clearly are, are scared again. They're meeting with the Treasury Secretary today. Well, the three of them may be talking, but they're not talking to Democrats. 
And so far, they've been talking in opposite directions, like the border adjustment tax, also this debt equity issue. So it's one thing for the leader to say they're talking. It's another thing they're going to have to do is to talk with Democrats, because as I said at the beginning, if, if tax reform is partisan, it will be dead from the beginning. The only way it will work is on a bipartisan basis and getting rid of these notions that tax cuts pay for themselves or supply-side economics really works. History shows neither does, and instead we're going to have to focus in on the middle class of America, which has had short shrift for too long. How do you intend to get this message out, though, Representative? I mean, is, is there you know, a coordinated effort on the part of House Democrats to do something about this, short of you know, having you know, individuals go and, and do town halls? How, how are you going to change legislation in, in the House or, or have it not reach the Senate? Well, because the public is going to speak. We're finding that on health care. The public has been uprising against the Republican plan on health care reform. And the same will be true of taxes. If they have tax proposals that basically help the wealthy, that add to the debt tremendously, and also really not only helping the wealthy, but really assume that tax cuts will promote growth when economist after economist say that's false. So the public is going to speak out on tax reform just like they have on health care. They've been rising up saying the Republicans are on the wrong path. And if the Republicans try a very partisan tax cut, mostly for the very wealthy, assuming it will help everybody by trickling down, that the, the public is also going to speak up. Don't dismiss public reaction because it has had its new. I was active during the Vietnam War. I've seen more activity by the public on this yes. any time since the Vietnam War.